Officer Nomusa uh, Pembi, thank, thank you very you. much for joining us. Welcome to the program. Um, shocking news. We've just heard there from the Northwest, um, and this is something that caught them by surprise. And I just wonder, nationally, is this a, something that we're starting to see more and more often, children at school becoming violent? Yes, it is indeed happening right through the country. We are seeing learners becoming very violent. We remember earlier this year in, um, in the Northern Cape, a teacher was, was stabbed to death by a learner who went to his house to complain that the teacher had failed him. He went to his house and stabbed him in his house. So these incidents are happening almost on a weekly basis, incidents of teachers being abused by learners verbally or learners just not taking instructions or learners threatening, threatening teachers. But this one is really, we are really sad indeed. We are very much shocked and uh, we, 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 we are saying we are appealing on the communities, appealing on the employer, the department to do something about this. And when I hear you talk, I'm getting a sense that uh, this is something perhaps was going to happen at some point, given the history and the kinds of trends that are taking place. And I just wonder what interventions have been taken since the last time uh, that you, to try and prevent this kind of thing happening. The thing is, this, this, um, we, we have nine provinces, and you find that provinces have got their different uh, uh, departments or although we have one national department but provinces do things in their own way mm -hmm. so you find that like two weeks or three weeks ago there was something in KwaZulu Natal where learners they they stabbed each other and they killed each other in a school in Guamakuta and you find that there will be an intervention there there isn't a, a, a holistic uh, uh, approach to this. It's like we are reacting. Whenever something happens, then we react. But we have, for many years, been calling on the department to say, we 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 are we we do respect the the right of learners to learn. We we do see that our policies, even the constitution itself, and all the laws um, on education, are pro the learner. They are there to ensure that the learner is educated or learns, in, in, you know, we must do everything to ensure that the learner is educated. But the, the, these policies say very little about ensuring that the, 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 the rights of the teacher to be protected mm. is, 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 is enshrined or, or because you find that if, if it was the other way around, yeah. if it was a teacher who had, who had done this to this, to this learner, I'm mm. sure the, the country would be, would be ablaze. So how is it that a, a child can get into a school with a knife in his pocket? This is due to the lack of security measures in our schools. We have been calling for schools to have the same security measures like you would have in places like in, uh, in, uh, at Home Affairs, for instance, because these are government buildings too, where you find state-of-the-art equipment that ensures that it can detect as the w a learner walks in, it can detect that the learner is carrying a, 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 a weapon, for instance. But you find that in our schools, perhaps if that school is lucky, there'll be that one security guard who'll be there at the gate, who has perhaps just a, 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 a shambok or a nopkiri to, to ensure that he searches all these learners. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a futile exercise. What are the most common concerns that are being raised by your teachers and your educators across the country that are coming to you as a union? Our members feel they are not safe. They feel that the employer is not doing enough. And they also feel that as a union, we are really not doing enough to ensure that they are protected. But we are doing our best because we are engaging with our employer. But we are saying we, as we engage with the employer, we need to go further to say we also appeal on communities. Schools are in communities. We are saying communities should also play a role. It cannot be just the teacher, the learner, and, and, and the department. Parents must be involved. Communities must be involved. What do you think has changed over the years? Because we never used to hear these stories. I mean, when I was at school, certainly, 
there was a, a natural fear that we had of our teachers. They were a voice of authority and, and uh, power. Uh, what, what's changed over time that your teachers and your educators are feeling unsafe? I think uh, the social structure of our communities has changed a lot over the years. We are having families that are, ha are headed by children. We are having families where you find uh, that uh, p parents uh, are working and they come home at night, they are not taking care. And you, you, you are finding we, um, we are seeing a rise in, in drugs, a rise in gangsterism, so, and, and parents not, not being forthright, not, not in, in ensuring that they instill discipline mm. in, 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 uh, in, in their children, leaving that to, to, to the teachers. And we have been saying uh, all along that we, uh, uh, discipline begins at home. When the child comes to the school, we expect that the child has some level of discipline uh, and, and values should begin at home. But we are realizing that that is not happening of, of late. Um, children come to, 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 to school not having those. Right, so we're going to start to see schools with metal detectors, uh, people going through security uh, screening, and that's going to be the, the school, school place of the future. Yes, we'd like to see that happening. All right, okay, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks very much indeed uh, for coming into studio and sharing your concerns with us uh, for one of your fellow teachers who's uh, passed away. Thank you so much.